Hey everyone, welcome back to the Craftsman's Guide. Today, we're going to be taking a look at these forest scatter terrain pieces. I bought a pack of trees off of Amazon or Wish, about 30 trees for $5, but I had no way to use them because they didn't come with bases. So I built these sort of foam, foresty floor, stony sort of textured bases for them to go on. They're super easy to make, they look amazing, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Let's go! As usual, I didn't have much of a plan, so I just grabbed a marker and began marking out where I think some bases would fit on the foam. I then moved on to grabbing the knife and just began cutting. I stuck to the guidelines kind of, but they are just guidelines. Once all the pieces were separated, I then took to it with my knife, carving off those sharper edges. When I was happy, I grabbed some trees and began placing them where I think they would look kind of good, just so I could sort of visualise the end product. Once I rescued some foam and trees from Kiki's mouth, I then began to carve out some sort of plateaus on the stonework. And then pulling out the most trusty tool of all, a butter knife. Using the butter knife, I just put it underneath the foam and flicked it up to break off segments. Then using the sharper knife to rough up the edges so that the butter knife has something to grip onto, I went on to texturing the stone. This is a technique I use very regularly and it has some amazing results. I just grab the blunt end and begin running it across the foam so it catches those rough edges. Then I moved on to texturing the stone with an aluminium bowl across all of the surfaces. Once you're done, you'll probably have an ungodly mess to clean up. This took me a while. Then, from that mess, I just grabbed a couple of bigger pieces, carved them up to look like stone, textured them, and slapped them on. I think it looked pretty good, it added a little bit of elevation. Then grabbing the huge bottle of PVA, I just began to spread it everywhere, using a paintbrush to get in every nook and cranny. Where I thought flocking would look good, I started spreading the dirt. There will be grass textures over this, so it doesn't have to be completely covered, but to an extent. I also grabbed some toothpicks and been jamming them in so it looks like fallen branches or sticks, and then covered them with a little bit of the foliage left in the bottom of the bag. Here's a technique to bulk out the trunks if you don't think that they're thick enough. The foil adds a natural bark texture. Once it was all set, I grabbed the Mod Podge and began to cover the stone in black and the flocked areas in brown. I moved on to painting the stone by grabbing a grey and heavily dry brushing all the stone areas. Then, to highlight, I grabbed some tan and some grey, mixed it together and just hit those top surfaces. This makes a really nice highlight. Once again, pulling out the trusty PVA, we begin to spread it across all of the flocking area using a brush. Once lathered up, Grab the flocking and begin to spread it absolutely everywhere. The more that you cover, the better. While I left that to dry, I moved on to making the mushroom heads in advance. I put some hot glue on some baking paper and let them settle like thumbtacks. Wow, look at me, being efficient. When the PVA was finally dry, I shook off the excess, grabbed some scissors, some twine and some tweezers. Spread the fibers and began placing it down like little tufts of grass. Turns out, cats love this. I found some toothpicks from the kitchen, cut them short and used them as stems for the mushrooms. Then painted them all different colours. I used red, blue and sort of like a peachy pink. Dry brushed the blue ones white, spotted the reds and left the peachy ones how they were. Then using PVA, I pushed them into the surfaces where I thought they looked good. These hobby trees never look as good as they could, so I grabbed some light green and dry brushed over them to give a bit of depth and highlight. Once I was happy, the final step, I grabbed them and began placing them around. These look pretty good, let's take a look. Hey, this is the end of the video. Thanks for making it this far, I appreciate it. If you liked it, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and tell me down in the comments below what you want to see next. If you wanted to see more setups like this, go have a look at my Instagram. I'll see you on the next adventure.